what happened to you. It's what you believe about what happened to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you should say that again. <laughs> yeah, it's not just what happened to you, but it's what you what believe. You believe. About so what he says it's the lie-based thinking that you have about what happened to you. Right. The, li the lies that you believe. So, um, yes, this happened to me. If the lie is now my life is ruined. <laughs> like right. I could say, no, my life's not ruined. It's going to take some time to heal, but my life can go forward, you know? Right. And it's so, and it's hard to do that. Like once Absolutely. we're stuck in it, it's hard to get out of it. It's hard to make that shift. And one of the ways to do that is to, to imagine we're back in the situation, which can be, very frightening for, yeah. for people. But imagine you're back in the situation. Um, and even before you do that, you you first just invite Jesus um, to come to you. Mm. And in the situation, um, before you kind of engage it, um, and you're hoping to, to see him, you want him to see you, you're imagining, you know, it's like putting yourself in the story and the gospels and imagining what Jesus is saying to someone or imagining that you're that someone and he's saying it to you. You know, we do that. Right. That's It's really prayer. Healing of memories is just prayer. It's letting him, inviting him into what happened. And it turns out he was there anyway. Like at the time you didn't know it, but he was right. there with he's you. There. Yeah. He knows what happened. He remembers. And once you kind of see him there with you, you can start to interact with him. And sometimes... It's enough for him to just embrace you, you know, or put his hand on your shoulder. Um, other times you start to have a dialogue with him. And if you're doing it prayerfully and inviting, you know, the Holy Spirit into it, um, I just, what I do is I guide people to that moment. Now wow. they're interacting with Jesus. I'm not saying anything anymore. I'm just, you know, letting it happen. They tell me what he told them. I never tell them what he told them because it's it's their time of prayer. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing what he tells them because he tells them he knows their hearts so so intimately. And sometimes, you know, just seeing him there, him giving you a hug, him saying, I was with you, mm -hmm. that's all you need. Yeah. And there's this great sense of, you know, his love and, his compassion for you. And what happens is once you're done doing that time of prayer, that prayer for healing of your memories, um, sometimes you don't have a need to go back to that memory because um, what he did and what he said does make sense. Yeah. And if you do so want to. You don't to, have to keep trying to make sense of yeah, it anymore. Yep. Yeah. It's the one thing that makes sense. And if you do find yourself going back to it, you just remember what he did and what he said. and and it's actually a nice memory now because uh, yeah. it's what he, you know, I can remember what he said and what he did and how that made me feel. So it's pretty simple in a lot of ways, but it's um, sadly a lot of people are stuck in their traumatic memories. And the good news is there's a way out of that. Wow. Yeah. All of that you just said right now was <laughs> amazing. So it's like, I was thinking when you said like you'll have people go back to that memory first and I was thinking, oh, who'd want to do that? But then you think, well, you're already playing through it anyway all the time. You know, right. I mean, we've all done that, right? So you're like, you're going through over and over again, like you said, like trying to figure out what happened, how you could have done something different, why you said what you said, what you should have said, why did that person say, it? you know? And you're already there. So it's like. You're already there. <laughs> so it's and like, what's different now is you're inviting Jesus to come with you. Right. And he was already there with you. <laughs> right. You just didn't know it. And right. now he wants to show you how he was there with you. So when you find yourself getting caught like that, you can say, wait, this is an opportunity. Let me invite Jesus into this. Yeah. And turn it into a moment of prayer. And then. Like you said, I mean, it could go as far as to actually then be a good memory because now you're remembering, you know, Jesus and what he said and what he did in that moment. So.